What's up everybody? My name is Andrew and today I'm going to be taking you through some of the functions here on Ollie English on our new platform. So if you guys are ready, let's begin. Right here you're going to log in to Ollie English. I'm using my phone number and then our password is entered here. Okay, this is remember me. Click that if you like. Okay, if you're ready, we'll just hit log in. Okay, to get into our classroom, you're going to find today's date, the date of your class. Okay, here's today. And then you're going to press this icon here to enter the classroom. When you do that, you'll arrive here, hello, at an equipment check. And you can just test your microphone. Check, 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 check. You could record a little segment. Check, 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 check. It's going to play it back for you. A little... It's going to play it back for you. And here we could uh, test out the sound, okay? <laughs> going to hear a little melody there. So we're good to go. Here's our webcam. You got your webcam set up. We're good to go. We're going to enter the classroom now. Okay, so now we are in the classroom. If you look up here, this is your video here. You're the teacher. Your video's up here. Okay, and then here is going to be your Chinese teacher's video, just to the, to the right of you. Okay, with this platform, you can only see six people on the top here okay so two teachers and four students if you have more people than that in the classroom you're gonna click this arrow over here there's gonna be a second page of students here you can see I have two more students here now the trouble is you can only see six students on the first page right if you want to see everybody at the same time you're gonna to go to the second page here and drag their videos down once you do so, you drag by the gray part here, see? Once you do so, you can uh, adjust the size, smaller, bigger, whatever you want. Okay, so I'm going to get these two students down here, place them side by side. I want to give myself enough room so I can still have my PPT in the classroom, okay? Everything's good. Now, when I go back to the first page here, I can see all of the students together because I dragged the students from page two, I dragged them down here. So now when I go back to page one, I see everybody, okay? Okay, now guys, we're gonna learn how to mute students if you have to do so. You're gonna scroll over one of the students' videos and you can click the microphone icon. I think you can also turn off their video like that, okay? So here we go, I'm gonna mute some of these students, boom. Boom. There we go. That's how to mute the students right there. Okay, now guys, let's talk about how to open your classroom files, including your PPTs, any videos that you need to teach the class, or any songs like MP3, or MP4 files. You're going to go down here to the cloud. And this one right here is all the authorized files. Okay, so you can select your PPT from here. You can also go here. To the cloud and you can choose files that you have uploaded yourself see there's an upload button here you can use this to upload files from your computer I'm gonna open lesson one the PDF here okay this will be the PDF I'm using to teach the class I can drag it around the interface here I can make it bigger I can make it smaller etc I'm just gonna drag it over here all right, guys, one more function we wanted to show you is how to draw on or put shapes on uh, one of the students' videos. This can be useful for if you want to, like, uh, select them as a volunteer or say hello, for example. So I could bring Shine down here, drag his video down, and I could draw a shape on his video there. Or I could draw on it, circle him, and say hello. Okay, that's cool. Uh, so yeah, you could do that for any of the students. Drag another one over here. Let's say my student Lola, if she were there, I could circle her. 
Okay, that sort of thing is very useful. Like I said, if you want to choose a, a volunteer or say hello, that sort of thing, uh, this function could be useful for you as well. Okay, let's talk about how to write on the lesson now. You're going to go down here and select the text function. When you do so, you can choose the size of the font that you want as well as the color. You can conveniently write on the blackboard or on the PPT. Right here, that's fine. Uh, if you want to delete something, one particular thing, select it. Hit the garbage can, delete. Or, I'm going to hit undo here. If you want to delete everything all at once, just this brush clears everything. Okay. The same goes for if you want to draw. So here we have the, the draw function. You can choose the size of the um, marker that you're using as well as the color. Boom. Here you can draw on anything you like. Uh, you can undo, redo, or clear the whole thing. If you want to just delete one, select it, delete it, just like that. Let's also talk, guys, about how to drag things around. Let's say I have some text on the blackboard. I'm going to select this function, and I can drag the text along the blackboard, but only on the blackboard. If I wrote on the blackboard, it's got to stay on the blackboard. Similarly, I can write on the PPT over here, or the PDF, rather, and drag that around. That's fine. I'm going to clear the whole thing. Another function you might find useful, we have some shapes here, and um, we have squares, circles, triangles, different colors, different thicknesses of the shapes. Boom, okay, we got this triangle here. We're going to get a circle going right now. And again, if you want to drag them around, you may do so. Okay, if you want to delete one, select it delete okay guys let's talk about the toolbox functions the toolbox is located down here and it is full of some useful functions let's look at the first one which is a timer so click on the little clock icon and you have your timer here on the right you can select how many seconds there are on the left is how many minutes yeah how many minutes here so however many I choose <laughs> I'm gonna click start and it's gonna start counting down when you want to stop it, click here. Otherwise, it will count all the way down to zero. Pretty simple. That's the timer function. Okay. Take a look. Toolbox function number two. The dice game. Very simple again. When you want to roll the dice, click the dice. It's going to roll and show you the number. And you can do so on and on. Good for playing games with your students. That one is very simple. Okay. Back to the toolbox. The third one we have here with the letter A is going to be your multiple choice test function. So you have a question. There are different options. You ask the students, do you think it's A, B, C, or D? They can respond. If you need less options, you can click the minus button. Reduce the number of options. If you need more, click the plus sign. When you want to select the right answer, just select whatever letter. Uh, you can also choose multiple correct answers. Okay, For this one, I'm just going to go with A is the correct answer. We will click Begin, and the students will have the chance to input what they think is the right answer. So let's see if any of our students over there pick up on this one. Here we go. A. Very good. Oh, and someone said B. So you can see how many students um, selected what option. If you click here, you can see specifically what students, uh, you can see how each individual student responded, okay? So this is your multiple choice test function. Click here to stop the test and exit out. Let's look at another function. Here we have the buzzer function. If you're selecting a volunteer, uh, you're not sure who to choose, you have multiple people putting their hand up, you can try the buzzer function, which basically gives them a chance to input. They'll get a little flashing thing on their screen. Uh, the first person to click it will be chosen as a volunteer. So let's give it a try. Click here once. Let's see who's the fastest. 
Zelda. Okay, so I would then call on Zelda to be my volunteer. Okay, the buzzer function, also very useful. Last one here is the random student selector. Click here, and you'll have this lever that you can click on, and it will randomly select a student for you. Okay, so if you, again, just want to have a fun little way to choose a volunteer to answer your questions, you can try out the random student selector. All right, a couple more things. Let's look at the chat window. Okay, down here, click this one. You have a chat window. You can chat to everybody in the class. Okay, so I'm just going to say hi. All right, guys, let's check out how to use the name list. If you go down and click this icon here, the name list will appear. And within the name list, you have the power to mute students' microphones, turn off their video if necessary and uh, it's going to list everybody in the classroom so all the students here and then you know the Chinese teacher and yourself um, one important function here if you want to transfer the class over to the Chinese teacher you're just going to click this icon and click trade in which is okay and now the Chinese teacher is in control of the classroom if you want to take it back click this one right here click OK and then you are in control of the classroom again. Now, let's talk about how to exit the classroom. We're going to click the X on the upper right hand corner here, but it's very important to take note. Do not click the red icon here because uh, that will terminate the session. It will close the whole class down. So if there are other people still in the classroom doing their thing, the Chinese teacher is still in there teaching, it will abort the whole class. So what you want to do is hit this one in the middle here, which allows you to leave the classroom without closing down the whole class. So I'm going to click that one now. And we are out of the classroom back at the, uh, at the platform with the calendar and your class schedule here. All right, guys, that's all the time we have for today. I'm Andrew with Ollie English. It was my pleasure to be here for you, talking you through some of the functions we have on the platform, which I think are all pretty straightforward. If you just follow the video, they should be pretty easy to learn, and I hope that they can assist you in having a really good class when you are teaching for Ollie English. Thanks very much for your time. See you next time. Bye-bye.